Hello everyone, this is Archer Fangs and welcome to another video of Terrarium. So in the last video I talked about fishing. I show you what fishing is about. So in today's video we're gonna um, explore the ice cave, see if we can find the flurry boots. So yeah, so last video it was about fishing. I actually explained to you how fishing works. That you need to have a big body of water source. And it's always good yet to carry your bug net catch bug. Because the bugs are your bait for the fishing rod. And... And while fishing you need to find a larger body of water. You gotta be very big at least. And that's it basically. Now you can use the fishes for potions, food... All that kind of stuff. So yeah, so I found like a demon archer right here, a uh, crimson one. So this is my closest one, so I can use this for my to craft stuff. So I have to walk all the way to the crimson biome. So what I'm gonna do is head this way and explore this area down here. So yeah, let's dig down. So there's an ice line there. Cool. So yeah, also guys, if you're not watching my videos, at least, um, it kind of hurts me a little because, you know, I'm like creating a game that I love to play that I want to show you guys. And you see, I'm not getting any views, any likes. Please do so. Show me the like if you're enjoying the playthrough. If you want to see this playthrough continue to the end, give it a like button. If you can give it like at least three to five likes. And now see that you guys are actually liking it. I will continue making it to a plate series. But if I don't see the 3 or 5 likes. I'm just going to call it into an end. This series at some point And just record something different. Alright. So there's a body of water here. This way this way. So there's nothing here so far, so let's continue. So we're not finding any source of... Hmm, let's see. If we go down, we should be able to... Where is it? From where, where, where? From here. Let's go down. Go right here this way. So I found another heart crystal. So far I'm already max health. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh shit. Let me remove that trap. Wait, a blood moon is rising. What the heck? That's the first time in a playthrough. Can I head back to base? Because the blood moon is rising. So basically what Blood Moon does is actually um, just kind of like the Goblin Army but this is just basically a knight and with zombies, demon eyes, that's basically it. And then it ends at, um, let me check, at 4am so I got a couple of minutes. So it should end in 8 minutes. Well, that zombie fell down to the ground. Poor him. Or her. I didn't get to see the gender for that zombie.
They can open your doors and even open forever until you at least pass through them and automatically closes. So yeah. The bloom is not really a hard thing. It's basically an easy thing, so yeah. Usually what you get from Blue Moons are shackles, the zombie arm as a weapon, which is cool. In fact, in my first game uh, gameplay I did, uh, off like for me for myself, I play offline, you know, my playthrough. I actually got a legendary zombie arm and that was like my weapon for a while. Until I started getting the I think until I got like a better sword. I don't know what I think it was like a silver sword or something like that. I think it was lead a uh, broad sword. Well poor um zombie who fell down again. It's actually a good source of collecting on your lens. So if you wanna like fight the high of Duhu and you love them and you wanna fight them multiple times, this is a good way to farm for lens. So we already have five lens. And I think the blue moon ends once like the music stops. So yeah. And I believe this same music you get in the... I believe it's meteorite and also the underworld. Since I crafted the space armor last video or two videos ago, you know, I feel like I should use that. Got a zombie banner. This is my meter armor, so now I can use this. If you guys don't remember, the meter armor is a, is a magic based armor, so if you're a magic user or want to go for a magic user, getting this armor is one of your best, best ones for this playthrough. For, this is basically good armor for pre hard mode. So yeah. And what the heck did I just got? A top hat. Cool. And the set bonus for the armor. Basically it makes your space gun to use zero mana. Because if you don't have the space armor, it's going to use mana. And you're going to wait until your mana fills. And usually when there's a blue moon, the water turns red. And also there are some plants that grow on um, blood moon. That you need to pluck them on blood moon to get their seeds. Which is uh, the dead wing. That's basically what you need. Cool. So let me see how long it takes for this to then. Okay, let's check. Should be done like in three minutes. You see the space armor, I mean the space gun penetrates the, the zombie. So it hits all the zombies. Only has like about three zombies, I believe. Let 
And you also get like a little um, burning you know, effect when you run with the space armor. You guys probably know that and seen that before. As soon as they get on like a few more crafting stations and those stations are the advanced workbench, the sawmill, and as you saw earlier or in the last video, the cooking pot. And I believe, what else? I think that's it. I don't need anything else. There's other ones that you need like to craft ice stuff. There's other one that you can craft honey stuff, like make furniture out of the honey. And there's a bunch of them. Also, there's like a bone crusher that makes you make furniture out of bones. It's kind of creepy, but yeah. But the one I'm looking for more is the advanced workbench, the sawmill, and the cooking pot. The advanced workbench looks like gray, has like all these tools on it. The sawmill is basically like a, kind of like the size of the table. And it has like a little saw blade in it. And then the cooking bar where it has like a pot. So I'm getting a bunch of shackles now. Another one, look, just got two in a row. As you saw, this is the end of the Blood Moon. The music just changed, so it ends. So let's click back to the other armor. We got a zombie banner. We got a couple of shackles. We got the Entropy Shackle, the Arcane Shackle, and the Fleeting Shackle. Cool. So we're not gonna use the shackles because I don't really use them that much. So far I have 24 gold coins. So now let's head over back to the ice biome and look for the flurry boots. Since we got interrupted by the blood moon. Our first blood moon. So where were we? Over here. So I don't think there's a... Uh, maybe there could be any like rooms down here. So yeah, let's head over really quick there. So I'm right here. Let's head back to where we left off. This is where we found the demon. The Crimson Maltar. Keep calling him demon. They're actually the same. They have the same property. So it's like no big deal. There's nothing different between them besides the look. And light this up. This might not iron, no worry at it. I'm gonna pass through anyways. Oh, there's another trap. Good thing I walked over it. So I'm not finding any treasure chest. Usually you don't need to find a room. You can usually find a chest. I'm assuming there's one, like if you look at to the left where I am, there's like a body source. But the first body source where the blue two pink dots, straight down, there's a hole with the gold thingy. That could be gold or that could be a chest. So let's mine it. I think it's over here. One of these days, I'm gonna have to farm for gel and try to make uh, to make um, the slime crown. Cause I want I want to show you guys the slime king. He's a really cool boss, a very really goopy, slimy boss. Let's over here. Let's 
And then it's straight down. There's no chest in here? I thought I saw a chest. Weird. So this is basically A, you know, there's nothing in here. Let's head over. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So this basically is where I left off before I left to fight the Blood Moon. Let's light this up. I'm gonna. I want to make it well lit for you guys, so you guys don't see like darkness. So yeah. Oh, Viking is after me, oh no. Stupid bat. So let's see. Actually, there's a room to the left of us. Let's head there. So we here. I'm gonna make there get there quick as I can. Where is it? Where is it? Yeah, this way. I ran out of torches. That's not. That's weird. Alright, so we have some sort of gyms up here. Amethyst, we have a picture up here with this. The rare enchantment. Ooh, weird though. Got another room in here. We found the flurry boots. Yay, we finally can make the boots I wanted to craft for a very long time. Wow, who's attacking me? Wow. And we also find the ice machine. We can use it to make special crafting stuff. Basically, it's all ice related. So yeah, so let's mine this. Head back to base. I got the... Yeah, I did. Okay, so I just dumped my ores and let's dump the stuff in here. The slush, the potions, the gems. So I got the flurry boots. You know, I could have just bought here instead of going to the other jungle for a while. Basically what the ice machine does uh, let's see, where should we build it? Let's build it down here for now. That is big! It takes three blocks and three, three by three, dang! So I think if I carry the blocks over here, should make like ice sculpture stuff. See, I can make a frozen bathtub. 
a wood a frozen wooden door a frozen workbench a frozen table basically frozen stuff so you guys get the idea so yeah cool Wrong one We got a picture called the rare enchantment. Look through places. This place over here around the door. There you go. And we got the flurry boots. And some jester arrows. <clears throat> We're gonna dump in here. So where's our workbench? So we need the aglet. Oh wait, we do not need the aglet. We need this guy. So now we can make the specter boots. With the spectre boots, I can make the lightning boots, which everybody can do. And with the same boots, what else can I do? I also make um, B armor with the. Uh, I forgot to meant forgot about that with the beaks B wax. So I have lightning boots now, so now I could put this here because I don't need them. Look at me, I'm already running hell. Oh, dang it, I'm like flash. Whoa. Woohoo. Very bad in here. Nice. So we can now run fast. Yeah, so. Okay, what else do we need to do? I'm thinking of enchanting my. My boots. Let's chant them, see what we can get. And also, let's try. We got that. That should be fine. If you get like the warning one, it'll be cool. What did I put my boots in a freaking piggy pank? Okay, let's do this. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Not that. Guarding. That's... That's okay for now. Basically, what you want to do. I wasted all my gold on that shit thing. Cool. So now I have the Guardian Lightning Boots. And apparently, they're materials. So let's see what we can craft them into really quick. Okay, now set. Stop moving back and forth. So, Tiger Climbing Gear. I need a. Tabby and the black belt to make a master ninja gear. It allows the ability to climb walls and dash, gives a chance to dodge attacks. Cool. And what about the school? I can make the obsidian water walking. I need the water walking boots. I can make the same horseshoe. That's for now. Okay, let's try the lightning boots. I'm gonna make them with these, the ice skates, the frost pack spark boots. I should just come. Oh, I should I? I should wish to go on that. This, yeah, combine them. Why not? I should have saved my gold on that. So let's do it. Now I have 7% movement speed increased, allows flight, super fast running, extra mobility on ice, and there's no more crafting materials after that. So cool, now I have to refurbish them, but I'm not gonna do that. So anyways guys, that will be it for the video. If you enjoyed, hit the like button. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. Like my videos if you want to, like it. If you give it 3 likes, 
I will make it to a playthrough all the way to the end. If not, I will stop at some point. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. Especially if you're enjoying my content, subscribe. If you want to see more. And if you got any questions or you want to say something about my channel or about or about the game, then you're welcome to leave them down in the comment section below. And as always, this is Archer Fangs. I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye.